Hello, back again. Now we're coming on to the next stage in our process of creating our casket egg and this is to cut the egg. We've already got our pencil guidelines in place and this next stage can possibly be the most intimidating part of starting to do an egg. Some people decide, well, you know, I'm going to just decorate a whole shell. I was advised when I started to just get in there, do the cut work and you don't look back. And they were right. However, I started life using a half round Swiss needle file and literally filing the egg in half. Nowadays, most people will use an electric drill. Now we have a small hobby drill here, which is very simple to use. It's a nice lightweight drill. You can hold it like a pencil or you can hold it a little bit like a potato peeler and actually work like so. However, if you're going to work with it like a pencil, then it's a very good idea to get a finger from the hand that you're holding the drill in down onto the shell and this will actually act as a pivot point as you're drilling. Another important thing is to make sure that your thumb on your opposite hand is well out of the way because if that drill skids, you slice and that smarts a little, can also do quite a bit of damage in terms of nerve endings. So just be very, very cautious and always rotate the egg rather than struggle to twist your hand right over the top to drill. So let's have a look at the drill itself before we start to cut. Now, on off switch is here at the back and then the business end. Now this has an adjustable collet which actually has four little tiny sections in the end here which close together around the drill bit. So we're going to put our drill bit into position and this is a six millimeter diamond disc. Now we don't want it too far in by the same token we don't want it too far out. So what I'm going to do is grip this silver section and rotate the black section until that starts to tighten around the drill bit. I'm just going to go back in again. More strength in my right hand so I'm going to go back in again and just strengthen, tighten that up like so. Now you can see the drill bit is rotating and this silver knurled section from here onwards this is the part that's rotating so you need to keep your fingers well clear of that area. The other thing that's important to do is to protect your lungs from the egg dust that comes off because quite a bit can fly off particularly if you're using a disc. If you're using a pilot hole burr and a flame burr then perhaps not so much dust. So what I'm doing is using my little dust extractor here which has a very heavy duty filter you can hear those very little noise associated with it and because it's such a compact size you don't actually need to have additional lighting inside the dust box to work with. So now let's get started. When you're using this dust box you need to work close to it so that the dust is immediately sucked through onto the filter. So I'll start by switching on and then we'll start to cut. So keeping that thumb well down. You see now the dust is being taken away. I'm just allowing the drill to run along the cutting line. So now I'll change the position of the egg in my hand very carefully. continue to cut. You can see I'm constantly changing the position of the edge to make it much easier. This is a six millimeter diamond coated disc. This is much easier to work with.
Now as I approach the blowhole, I'm going to try to hold the egg in such a way that I'm keeping the integrity of the egg shape intact by using this finger here and my thumb and bracing the two together. So very, very carefully now towards the blowhole. Take it nice and slowly. And then onto the other side. Now all the while I'm doing this, I have that finger positioned in such a way here that I've got this pivot point which will allow me to cut the edge much more carefully. Again, taking great care as I come to the point where the two halves of the egg are going to separate out. And there we have the egg, cleanly cut in half. Switch off the drill, switch off the dust box, and immediately I'm going to remove that drill bit. Now the reason that I do this is because if you put your drill down on the work surface with the drill bit in it, there is a tendency for you to just put it down quickly and before you know it you've dented the end of that drill bit and that renders it completely useless. So there we are, one egg cut into two and ready for the next stage of the work. And you can see that's a nice fine cut, it's always a nice tidy cut. It's always better to double check your drill bits before you start to work with them to make sure that A, they've still got some diamond coatings left on them because they don't last forever. You're actually chewing away with these drill bits at high speed and there's little diamond chippings, although you don't see them coming off, will gradually wear down. So it's always an idea just to take the drill bit between your fingers and then just very carefully rotate it if you can feel a slight grittiness there, then you know that you've still got some diamond chippings left. If it feels smooth, you're just gonna burn the shell away. You're not going to cut it. So that's something else to remember. And now for the next stage.